on climbing powers, but <laughs> don't know if you want to hear that. Sorry, what? I said I could nerd on about climbing for hours, but I'm not sure if you want to hear that. I mean, like I said, I already hear it a lot from the Because Science guy, who challenged so Jason Momoa. this is podcast then, isn't it? <laughs> what? Climbing with Teal Chan! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, go ahead, whenever you're ready. Yes, we're ready. So, uh, can I start now? Yep. Yes. Okay. Literally said, go ahead whenever you're ready. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, I didn't get what you... Sorry. Uh, sometimes I still have difficulty uh, understanding your accent. But, okay, uh, then uh, last time we finished clean on the round, so it's a new round. But uh, maybe we start with recapping. Zero, do you want to recap? Last time, we received information that uh, OK was actually up in the Deadlands. We went to investigate and found a whole bunch of uh, subalterns moving around pillars and trying to reconstruct something. Uh, Hero decided to kind of mess with them, but we found a strange subaltern that went into a bubble. We followed it into the bubble and found ourselves in a different place and time, 2,000 years in the past, on another planet. We beat up the people who were here because they were in our way, and then we continued after the subaltern. We are now in the middle of a fight where it throws out massive nuclear missiles at us that do 23 <laughs> damage, and they're not nice. Uh, and we're ultimately in the middle of the fight. I think we're all pretty bruised up at the moment, but we've taken it down a structure or two. Yeah, I didn't know uh, who acted last, so whoever wants to go first can go first. Now. I think we started at the top of the round. Yeah, but uh, the last actor nominates. Oh, so, right, right. Yeah, but who wants to go first of you? I'll go first. Where is it? Right on top of you. <laughs> oh, is it? Oh, okay. I was like, I don't remember having this cool-ass background, but okay. <laughs> I had to do a double take too. I like put my hand over the initiative to figure out where it was. Guys, he's invisible. Wait, he is invisible though. That's also okay. <laughs> All right. Um, first move is a ram. Don't think I have any bonuses to that, so we're back to doing this again. Uh, do you have a hero point? No. Take a hero point. All right, ram. Uh, so first thing I do is roll a d2 and get a 1. Because I do, there every is. time, yeah. Um, let's see, I'm overcharged, but how far am I overcharged? Not far enough to want to do this. Um, hmm. Okay, I'm gonna try and attack him with my combat sheath. So another d2 and get a 1. Perfect. Which basically means, do I have anything else I can tap for a free action? I've already used my uh, core charge way back when, but we haven't had a long rest or anything to get that back. Stop the forest doesn't help me. Let's see, Blade Master does nothing for me because I need to attack first. And I need a hit with a melee attack. That's not gonna help me. All right, one other thing to double check. Which is a talent, so it's not on my sheet here. Which one gives me the not... it's another dice. Brawler die. That is from... Knockout Blow. Okay, I can't do that either. Alright, I'm done. Okay. Then, uh... Five minutes, minutes of confirmation to finish that I'm done. <laughs> No, uh, he doesn't regenerate uh, his uh, Wolfhound missile. Then, uh, contested high track to break free of the crevice. Hero, can you beat a two? I guess you can. You fail a two. Okay. Yeah. I guess technically I couldn't fail because I have to grit. Because you have fought? 
Great. Great. Ah, crit, yes. No, a crit uh, doesn't uh, count for health saves, though. Okay, uh, uh, let's try uh, let's try uh, shooting at everybody, and we start with hero. Oh, uh, that's a hit. Hold on, one sec. Uh, Double check something. Uh... No, nope, I made an attack. Hold on, though. I might have one other thing to save me. I have soft cover. Yes, he's in median soft cover. So oh, I didn't see the minus symbol there. Okay, never mind. Yeah. I do have resistance to the damage from him, though. But you're also exposed, so that cancels out. Yeah, but I mean, it's the difference between 30 damage and 15 damage. Uh, it's 14 damage. Which is more than my total HP when I'm a regular person. So that's another structure damage. <laughs> uh, and it brings me right down to the uh, the normal amount of HP. Well, actually, it brings me right back to the amount of HP I have right now. So... <laughs> Let's see here, I've got a 2. Structure to system trauma. i got a 4. A system is destroyed, you choose what's destroyed. Let's see, what is my most useless system right now? I will lose the... Multi-gear maneuver system. I have literally never used it. Okay. Then uh, he attacks uh, Gwen. And... Oh, it's actually a miss. Cobra. That's a hit. That's a hit. And that's 11 damage. And that's his turn. Hero, you're nominated. Queen. Cool. Alright, so I come out of brace, but I have one quick action. Uh, so I'm going to continue to burn fuel to fly, but I will go ahead and declare I will probably be overcharging this round. So let's roll D3 real quick. Three, the max. Nice. Okay. Well, I am already flying above uh, this guy, and I have a sword. So the first one's going to be a sword swing. So I have two advantage to try to hit him, but I also need to actually hit him first. That is a miss. So I try a second time using my overcharge action. That is still a miss. That is really unfortunate. <laughs> You know you have something over there which would have helped you. Maybe, but he keeps teleporting out of it. I mean, literally, yep. I've had the same problem for the last 70 attacks that I've made, so... Uh, I have rolled yeah. an inordinate number of ones. <laughs> okay, but... I, but I, I gotta order... make a choice and take the risk. That's what I've been doing now. Okay. He got a Wolfhound missile. He still grappled, but I guess uh, Wolfhound missiles are great. Quinn, uh, he fires the Wolfhound missile at you. Uh, uh oh. Well, that's active, and I'm in the worst possible position for that. And then he does his Ravager turret actions against Hero. Nope. Ben, nope, and uh, Cobra, still a nope. Cobra, you are class this round. All right. Can I stabilize and then do a quick action? I mean, uh, if you're overcharged, then you can. Otherwise, you can't because stabilizes the full. Okay, I just wanted to make sure I'm 
still learning these rules. All right, I'm going to be stabilizing and reducing my heat and spending every. All right, and that's my turn done. I'm staying in the I would, I would greatly appreciate it if you did me a solid and you uh, overcharged to lock onto that missile. Just uh, real quick, isn't it uh, health or heat, not both? Or am I forgetting? Yeah, yeah it's, it's one or the other. Oh, yeah. Because I just noticed you did both, Cobra. I might as well overcharge, but that's going to be a D6 heat for me, so let's see if that overheats me. Cobra, how much health did you have? I don't remember how much I 18. had. I think it was 10. 18, thank you. Yeah. You had 18 health and 3 heat. Sorry, for some reason I was staring at your token. And now I have 5 if I overcharge. So yeah, did you choose to reduce your heat or to heal? Uh, can't you do both? No, that's what we were just talking about. It's one or the other. Oh. Well, then I'll go back to 18 heat. No, 18 health. 18 heat? <laughs> well, you can kill yourself, right? <laughs> that is literally three, uh, three on you, isn't it? That would be three reactor stress if you did 18 heat. Yeah. Crazy. So I'm walking onto the missile, and I will take five heat for. Okay, then it's a new round, and you also nominate. Who wants to act first? Please nominate me. Oh, God. That's uh, what I was thinking of, so that missile doesn't hit you before his turn comes. Declare me. I do nothing. Goodbye, Gawain. I'm in charge <laughs> now. <laughs> because if he acts, if, if he gets the teleport away, it will never hit him. Um, he doesn't have a melee or threat weapon, does he? Uh, he has a ranged weapon with threat 1. Okay, so I will choose to probably not move and get hit by that. But one way or another, uh, everyone here is probably going to explode. The, the only question is, do I try to get out of the line of fire first or not? <laughs> I mean, you could destroy the missile. No, I'm taking down Wonder 4. <laughs> okay. And why did you then want a lock-on on the missile? Because then I get to move it. Because okay. if I do a tech attack against it, I can choose where it moves, and then when it intersects with a character, it explodes. Ah, okay. But I'm going to end up taking the damage. There's no way around it. Unless I want to take damage first. But I need to ensure that it happens and that I don't explode. So, I guess I'm going down with the ship here. Uh, <laughs> I am making a quick tech attack action against the missile. And I'm going to go ahead and expend the uh, lock-on. Uh, okay. I don't think my tactician bonuses apply. So, it's just one one bonus. Yeah. It's... 11. I think it has a 10. Yeah, it's got an E defense of 10. Okay, I'm blind. Go to the, your uh, then. Um, that sounds believable. The first thing is, I'm going to declare that uh, flicker field, and I'm going to declare that um, I think this might help, that the missile, that hero is invisible to the missile. That might allow him an invisibility check. No, it's going to be a burst anyway. No, That's it's... the real problem. There's like no good option for that. Yeah, but you could make him invisible to Wonder 4 or yourself. Uh, choose an allied mech. No, because it, the, the target Wonder 4... I targeted, so the missile's yeah. going to explode. Yeah, okay then. Uh -huh. Yeah, but it's, it's going to be an alien. Uh, and then, of course, uh, just to show off what I'm using, Snow Crash. I consume the lock on, and I'm choosing for it to move one extra space into the space with Wonder Four. I mean, not to try and save myself here or anything, but 
Doesn't push mean away? It says pushed in the direction of your choice. Okay. Yeah. Alright, just trying to not die, that's all. <laughs> I'm sorry, but the option was either we two die, or all three of us die. <laughs> well, I'm just going to point out, how many structure do you have left? Uh, maybe one. I'm nothing. One more and I'm gone. Ten hit okay. points of damage and I'm out of here. Okay, then uh, uh, you two give me uh, uh, an agility save against 17. <laughs> I also want to point out that I'm also whatever doubles my damage, so even a, flying, so I get a bonus even miss damage will kill me. Yeah, cool. But okay, then zero, you take fourteen damage. Hero, you take twenty-eight double, so you could brace, I guess. Does that save you? No, I, again, I have ten hit points, and I am now destroyed. It literally, the entire structure bar is now filled. I am bright red. Destroyed is the label. Okay. You've killed me! I'm... You've literally <laughs> killed me! <laughs> I tried to blow him up, and I think it did some damage. Uh, Zero. My structure check is one. Let's check it out. So your mech is also destroyed. Uh, doop. Yep, sure is. Uh, Cobra... Uh, uh, we can check later how much repairs you, uh, you have left. But Zero did a job. One of four failed its safe and poof, 28 damage. That's. <laughs> <laughs> what movie is that? Predator. Mine. No, it's Predator. You're the laughing Predator as he kills himself to try and take everything else out around him. And it worked. I mean, if this is the last episode and Cobra just walks out of the place alone. <laughs> so, uh, Cobra, do you have four repairs left? Yes. So you could, I mean, you just won the fight, but you now have two destroyed mechs, so you can pick up one mech and I guess, how much repairs does the rest of you have? Zero. My mech has three uh, total, which is not enough to repair itself. So what's going to happen, I think, is that Zero is going to get out of his mech, tap the side of it, and an ATV is going to roll out of it. Oh, cool. We can just I make shit up now? ahead of time. <laughs> I'm setting mine to explode, or when we leave. Uh, I tap the side of mine and it becomes a transformer. I choose Megatron. <laughs> Kidding aside, uh, uh, you will trust obliterated whatever that uh, subaltern was. And you have repairs uh, on hand to do. Who do you want to repair? Uh, Kiro, you go ahead and repair. You actually have points you can use, and Cobra can help you. Gwen is down. All right. So, how many repairs will I be using? Um, we've also determined that your mech just instantly destroying it while you're in there. You guys came up with the rule that the uh, pilot still lives. Right. It's not functional anymore. No, I'm saying the pilot living part. The actual game rules yeah. are ambiguous. I'm asking if what you guys have decided before. Oh, I think before yeah. we decided life. Okay, then I'm gonna hop out and punch Zero in the face. No, nope, nope, that's warranted. I'll take that. <laughs> Would you like a ride on the ATV? Don't I? Don't think I have much of a choice. <laughs> All right, well I'm driving. You see how I fly. <laughs> uh, so yeah, once you guys finish spending your repair points, um, nothing happened when we destroyed this thing, did it? Nope. Yeah, time to go invest in Microsoft. Uh, time to actually investigate it a little bit. 
Uh, Cobra, your mech is functional at the moment. How about you give us some scanning and see what we can figure out about it? All right. What shall I roll? Oh, uh, uh, uh. systems? No, you uh, don't uh, have to roll much. I mean, it has an destroyed NHP casket in it. So, and this massive missile pretty much obliterated most what you could, could find out. It doesn't seem to be from this timeline. So it seems to be newer, but could be from your time, probably. Wait, are you saying the mech uh, that transported us to the past is newer than the present or newer than the past? It's it's from your time, so it's newer than right. the past. So you're saying it's newer than the future? No, 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 no. It's uh, about your timeline. Right, but you're saying it's newer, which means it's from the future. I come no, from the future to drag you to the it's past. You are then the present, and the present is the past. So it's good. okay. Listen here, Samurai Jack. <laughs> I understand what's happening. <laughs> it's uh, it's from uh, year five thousand something instead of three thousand something, and you're in three thousand four now. To clear the confusion up. Uh, does it at least have information on what its uh, name was? Who this one in particular was? Wonder Four? Yes. Hmm. Um, does it have any information left on how it opened up those bubbles or what they were? No. Dang. And we're still in the middle of this facility, everybody. Yeah, I'm uh, waiting for you to hash out uh, how you repair each other, so that oh, okay. I uh, can move forward. Oh, I thought the idea was that we didn't. Uh, no, you you guys have repair points. Uh, I'm letting you be repaired instead of me, hero. Oh, you're letting me. Three points, and Cobra has four. Apparently. After you hacked the missile and steered it right into me, you're now letting me repair. Yeah, I mean, it only seems like you know the friendly thing to do after that. What a wise and glorious leader you turned out to be. Thank you. <laughs> Just like Kim Jong Il. More like Kim Jong Un. <laughs> anyway, which one? How many repair points is it going to take to get um, Hero back on his feet? Well, it takes four total, right? Yes. Well, then one. <laughs> I only have three. But he... Uh, forget. Okay, then uh, Cobra can spend one to repair himself. <clears throat> uh... Cool, right uh, back to right above destroyed again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, as you're repairing, more mechs are approaching your position. They don't uh, open fire, and they don't look like Celestine. And yes, picture here. Yeah. Uh, and uh, they hail you and say, uh, who are you? Identify yourself. Could kill them now. They're all outside of their mechs. Yeah. This is Commander Zero of the Mirror Smoke Mercenary Company. Who is this? Uh, uh, uh. Of whom? It's all right. We're a little underground. Okay. It's no, I think we're very much on the ground. <laughs> we'll, we'll be big in a few thousand years, I'm sure. Okay, uh, uh, this is the leader of uh, Albert, the local Albert Ross thing. What exactly is the Mirror Smoke Company? Uh, Mirror Smoke Missionary Company? 
You literally just said every word. Uh, it's the company I work for. Your. That's about all the information I can give you at the moment. Then, okay, state your objective here. Are you in league with Celestine? Not at all. Our objective is complete. And I'll just kind of like point to the wreckage. Probably as like heroes like mounting it up on the ATV. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. They, uh, the leader uh, dismounts and uh, approaches you and uh, looks at your max and says, Okay. Uh, I've never seen max like yours before. and now that you take a closer look at their Max, yeah, this totally looks like a Nelson, but like an older make. So, I mean, my Mac has Nelson parts. Yeah. It's... Can't wait to be rich in the future. So, I don't <laughs> suppose I could shoot the same back at you then. What's your objective here? Oh, uh, we're here to destroy the Celestine. That's why our order was founded. Well, you'll be happy to know we took a few out over in that direction. But I'm not sure about the rest of the space. I'm a little bit short on information, you see. Yes, uh, uh, I admit the order is confusing. And our comms are scrambled. We can't reach anybody outside. So I propose we press on forwards together. If it's dragging us towards the center, that's where we have to go. Wait, quick question. Something I may have forgotten. How do we know that we're in the past? <laughs> Yeah, you scanned uh, Celestine Max, and their logs basically say current date 3004. Cool, but I can change the time clock on my computer to say it's 2004 right now. So Right, but you wouldn't necessarily be doing that as some sort of way to like get back at like some mechs that you don't even know are coming. <laughs> this wouldn't be their elaborate part to just fool and confuse people who they've never met before. Yeah. It might be something I'd do because I'm stupid like that, but <laughs> I mean it might be some elaborate hack. We make our mechs go faster by thinking they're in the past. <laughs> That's right, they have to work double time now now that they have to catch up. Well, no, the OS that's running the mechs was set to expire in 2019, so... I, I, I think that's more than enough speculation, though. Uh, still, I'm willing to uh, rally up with you for the time being. We need to get out of here as well. And if we can assist you in that goal, then I'm all for it. My mech is currently uh, destroyed, however. Yes. I will probably be leaving it behind in pieces. Yeah. Uh, and I'll be willing to act as a command supervisor for the time being. I say as I rev up the ATV. <laughs> <laughs> On the side of it, it just says command mobility vehicle. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Let me just go ahead and Oh, uh, actual token. Uh, trust is uh, info on the uh, believability. Those Max refer to themselves as Celestine, and the Albatross here referred to them as Celestine. And you learned in history books that a few hundred years ago there were there was the Neo Celestine. So it goes to believe that the Celestine preceded the Neo Celestine. So yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm yeah, sure present day Nazis still today. call themselves Nazis. Oh wait, sorry, I'm not sure we're saying this. 
I guess more to the point, we do have the physical reality to deal with here first. Yeah. Okay. Then uh, uh, he nods and you press uh, on uh, towards the center. He also says, yeah, we also lost some mechs and some soldiers here, but we can't allow the Celestine to achieve their goal. Wait, who said that? Uh, the commander of the Albatross. Okay, for some reason I thought you said hero. I'm like, wait, what? No, he said, sorry. Sorry if uh, I'm confusing. And... Okay, so I'm gonna set uh, the Gawain to self-destruct on my way out, and we're gonna press on forward then, I think. Mm -hmm. The... I just want to point out yeah. one last interruption here. That you could have let me go first. I could have run away. The missile would have targeted you, and we would have had two fine mechs without any of this problem. If <laughs> he went in between your turn and mine, he would teleport away. That's the issue. And then it just hits me, and then only I explode. Also cool. I was going to let that happen. I'm taking people down with me. <laughs> <laughs> You've entered the wrong company, I'm afraid. <laughs> so, how many dead on your watch? Cool. Uh, you know, just two, three. Well, really, the most. I guess technically two. Really, the most unfair argument for to me for me to make since I'm all of them. Yeah. Constantly ruining your military record. It's like Mirror Smoke just keeps sending us the most suicidal individuals possible. It's like they all have this same meta personality shaping their decisions. I mean, to be fair, one of them is just MIA. Exactly. You know, that's why it's only technically two. Could yeah. claim it was a court martialable offense, too, but, I mean, you're also court martialable offenses. Well, I'll deal with that afterwards. Right well, now, more death. Which has been your tagline this entire mission. I'll deal with that afterwards. <laughs> the coda yeah. of this mission has to be the afterwards. It's, uh... Really, I thought they would forgive me. <laughs> okay, okay uh, you... Ah! Uh, I trust uh, search for translation of uh, coda and it's translated coda. So I don't know the meaning. Yay. Just what like I Like the know. ending part of a song. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, you press onwards for quite some time and you mm -hmm. sense that you're approaching the center of this, wherever this is. And uh, at the end, you finally see something which you, is different from everything else, stairs that it uh, sent upwards and the commander of the Albatross signals you to go in and he will wait outside for you. But he also says, please hurry, we want to destroy that thing. And you can push into the last room, uh, room sorry. I draw my rapier on my command motility vehicle. <laughs> Charge! Drive me closer, I want to hit him with my sword. And by that, I need you two first. Okay. Yes. <laughs> oh, great. Curse to me, yeah. I could pick up your ATV and throw it. Yo, uh, enter a room that looks like a command room and so you see some screens some controls and you see a black coffin sized casket and it was Dracula it, the whole time yeah uh, the letters on it spell direction Uh, but there's nobody else in the command chamber? No. All right. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just sort of uh, 
putter on up to one of the consoles, get off the ATV, and start messing with it. So. Well, first we need to get it to play tic-tac-toe against itself. <laughs> oh, and change its name to Joshua. No, I'll just want to play thermonuclear warfare after that. We learned our lesson. No, it stops <laughs> playing games after that. You didn't watch the movie. I did, I did. <laughs> That's so... Ah, uh, sorry. Yes. Uh, when you you can find out that you yeah you're on a moon. Uh, sorry, on a moon, and this is a giant station. And in the orbit there are gun batteries and missiles and so on, but most are destroyed. So mm -hmm. you presume by the uh, albatross who would attack the station. And you can also make uh, the little NHP speak, so which is in that coffin-sized casket. Uh, okay. Greetings, Professor Falcon. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> does the computer or this NHP have information on time traveling bubbles, though? While I'm like browsing through their resources. Uh, my name is Direction. I once pointed the way for anyone who needed it. You hear from a little speaker which is right next to the casket. Oh, you do have it activated. Well, nice to meet you, Direction. But I think you have some friends outside that don't want to see you continue forward. Friends? Are Which you friends? a bit unaware of the situation? Aren't you the, uh... I'm sorry, I'm trying to remember what the organization's name here was. Celestine. Celestine. Yeah. Aren't you the Celestine NHP? The Celestines are my keepers. And they ask me to tell them where uh, my child rise. And I ask them, why? And they say, so that we may kill him. Why would I want to kill, do that? Kill my child. So I say that word again? Child. Oh, child. Some reason I heard chakra or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think you'll be pleased to know that they will not be pursuing that mission any further. But I do have a pertinent question. Would you happen to be aware of the nature and purpose of this NHP here? I'll go ahead, like, pat the one on the back of the ATV. You must have noticed it uh, earlier on the system scanners. Uh, uh, uh... What ATV? What NHP do you carry there? Now I'm confused as to. Uh, I, I took the NHP's casket with us. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Right. Uh, so, what was the question again? Uh, were you are you aware of this one's function and purpose? Oh, uh, its function is uh, to win the war. The war that is lost. But... Hey, wait, did you just kill your own NHP, by the way? Hmm? Oh, yeah, it's dead. <laughs> Yours, I mean. Yeah, it's dead. Cool. It, I, it's self-destructed. I don't have any way to carry it. Lesser is going to kill you, I think, Zolo. <laughs> Well, at least then he won't be missing in action. She. <laughs> hey, that'll be a recovery. My reputation's intact, as long as I'm dead. <laughs> Who's gonna spread that reputation? Not unless her. Well, joke's on you. I dodged all my responsibility by dying. Cool. Uh, anyway, hypotheticals aside. You saw how this one entered, in, entered the facility, correct? 
Yes. Are you capable of replicating that? Replicating or reversing? Yes. I think reversing would be the term. No, it wouldn't. You do not want to reverse. If you reverse it, we would have never done any of this. That would be paradox. You want to replicate. I'm going to be straight up and honest and say I missed the portion of my physics assignment where it described uh, temporal paradoxes, mostly because they don't teach that. I think one of us here is from Rambo, another one of us here is from Taxi Driver, and you're from like a teenage comedy where the teenager is like in charge of the military <laughs> unit. Yeah, man, I'm like the world's best chess player. Now hand me those cards. I'll have you know I've nuked more people as a teenager than you have now. <laughs> Anyways, yes, you don't want to reverse it. You want to replicate it. But no, we're interested in activating it again and returning to the original source point. Yes, I can do that. Excellent. Well... But before that, how far away can you transmit? Jero. And Jero will actually, like, <laughs> turn around to give you, like, a look. Look, man, you pointed a nuclear missile in my face. I don't want to hear another shit from you. Now tell me, how far away can you transmit? Oh, uh... Try to limit our interference. That's not a rule. We're a mercenary company, not the goddamn Federation. I... I can transmit you to Hysonia, because... No, no, I'm talking about uh, communications. What? I'm not you asking... You a personal message. Great. Apparently. Oh. Oh, I, uh, I'm afraid messaging is uh, blocked uh, at the current moment. All right, I want a quick uh, memory check here on history of wherever we are, if I can remember anything about this place from the future. Now that we know where we're at. Uh, you are at a moon with a secret base from a forbidden terrorist, more or less terrorist organization. So no, you don't know anything about in history lesson. Let's what about see. the order? They meant those guys outside mentioned an order. Do I know anything about them? Oh yes, the albatross. You totally know them. You don't know that they were founded to fight the Celestine because nowadays they uh, mostly protect hyperspace travelers, which uh, go, uh, yeah, have problems like pirates or some such. And so the Albatross are uh, quite, uh, quite the heroes in your time. Cool. I'm going to slap Zero on the back and say, you got this, man. And I'm going to go walk outside to talk to one of those guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so I'll work with the computer to make sure things are set up. Uh, thank you for setting up us up with this. I'm just interested in getting out of here. And I suppose best of luck keeping your son intact. Do you need directions? Yep, right back to Hycernia. Hmm. Okay. Uh, 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 you can ask this guy directions. Try to think about which directions would be useful to you. Up, down, left, right. A, B, <laughs> select, start. Galactic coordinates X, Y, Z as of the year 2000 years in the future. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but in more specific terms. <laughs> Because I'm just working entirely in relatives here. Yeah, first your mother, then your father. It's, uh... Relative jokes. Okay. Uh, anybody else you want to do here, or do you all step outside again? 
Well, I mean, I'm currently negotiating. <laughs> oh yeah, Hero has a bit to do. Let's see what happens. Okay. Well, I mean, okay, it doesn't right. have to be a bit. I can just negotiate. <laughs> like, I mean, I'm willing to give these guys tech from my mech. Which is more advanced than theirs, and also I have Nelson parts, and they're, Nelson, they're old school Nelson mechs, so I can improve them. Just so that they can pass along a message to me in the future. <laughs> you know, that whole, uh, what is it, uh, Back to the Future 1 and 2? Are you Marty? Martin McFly? <laughs> I was told to, you know, 200 years ago some guy said to send this package here, this day, this minute in the future. <laughs> Are you Nick? Are you Nick Wolf? Yeah. Okay. So you basically offer them your Mac to invest and send you a package in the future. Well, no, I'm not asking them to invest. Well, yeah, I guess I technically am asking them to invest because I need it to be done in my name. <laughs> With a social security number and everything that don't exist yet. <laughs> but yeah. Basically, I'm asking them to put down, like, all the money in my pockets <laughs> to <laughs> invest in these things on the three certain dates. And then I mean, give me the information in the future, or wire it to me in the future. Because they still exist as an organization in the future, which is the, the best part. Yeah. So all I have to do is make an agreement with their organization, and I don't have to rely on specific people. Uh, yeah, well, your money is worthless because yeah, it's not physical; it's electronic from a government just that doesn't exist in that. Right, timeline. but it's more like how a phone is technically worthless, but the parts yeah. that make it up are valuable. Yes, but your, I mean, your hardware, your Mac, that's uh, uh, that's valuable. So if you leave behind your Mac, yeah, that's what you said. Okay, that just to confirm. Then Nick Wolf is the richest Tupac man in the Gil. galaxy. Huh? Richest man in the galaxy. <laughs> ah, maybe not richest, but one of the. Richest. Uh, it's like what was that movie where the who played in the Mummy? I don't. Brendan know. Fraser. Brendan Fraser, the one where he's uh comes out of the bomb shelter. Really? No, I don't know. No. From like the the fifties or something like that, they all jump in their bomb shelter and they come back out like the year two thousand, and they've got like stock and like all those companies and everything that turned big over like the fifty to sixty years, and they have all these collectible items and shit like that. And he doesn't know that they're collectible, but people are buying them left, right, and center, so that they're all super rich all of a sudden. Blast from the past. I think that was it. Nobody? Jeez. No. Never seen it. Sorry. I'm just letting it go on here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he Hero negotiated uh, his view and uh, trusts for completeness. Uh, here's a uh, new Nelson, how they look nowadays, and the Albatross still has the basic. The same basic uh, color scheme, so mostly reddish. Yeah. So, anything else you want to do before you step out? Uh, I'll thank the uh, commander here for escorting us this far. Direction here says that they're ready to send us back, and we'll be taking our leave. It looks like your mission here is accomplished, according to the sensors. It's... Uh, what? No, I'm sorry, I'm confused. Uh, the, the person we were just talking to, the one who intercepted us and we walked the rest of the way with them. Yes. Yeah, so that's who I was addressing. Yes, and what did you say? I didn't get what you were saying. Uh, I, I was just thanking him. Thanks for escorting us the rest of the way here. Direction's going to send us back. 
Uh, but it looks like, according to the sensors, your mission's accomplished. He, he, now, Lee, he looked. Why is our uh, mission accomplished? It looks like he blew up everything on the way in. Oh, uh, he points at the room you're out of. We didn't blow up that thing uh, yet. And uh, 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 basically, we will blow up the whole moon. Ah, so all the better that we get out of here, then. Yes. Well, we're going to let it continue to finish up its function. And best of luck escaping a blow an exploding moon. It's... Uh, yes. Uh, 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 right as he's speaking to you, he traps as it's here, like he... Uh, Gets in radio call. Oh, we have contact again. The Celestine is about to trump. Uh, RKV, uh, RKV immediately, which uh, uh, is short for re relativistic uh, killing vehicle or velocity. So they're dropping the big guns. Uh, I'll look over yeah. at direction. Go. Do you have that? Uh, do you have everything ready? Uh, yeah, you're outside of the room. You can't use uh, speak to a uh, direction anymore. And you get hit before you realize what's uh, happening. And everything turns white. And you're back in the Deadlands. Cool. I imagine there's like a sudden gas for air. Zero standing up and like patting himself down. I shoot oh, the first so zombie in the face. Then. I can tell I'm in hell because I'm still here with you. Ah, great. <laughs> hell is other people. Unfortunately. Now I'm going to get an earful of it for eternity. I'll just like kick some sand and playfully just like play up the joke. <laughs> uh, Cobra is still here. Uh, Hero is still here. I'm guessing Hero's Mac isn't here. <laughs> of course not. I don't need it anymore. I don't need to work anymore. What are you talking about? But wait, where's the ATV? <laughs> yeah, uh, you remember why you came here? Uh, yes, I do. It was to try to hunt down an NHP. Yes, but you. So uh, you were told, okay, is here, but so far you didn't find him. So. How do you want to go about? I mean, technically, I... we did find an NHP. Right. We have some very curious information left on Cobra's mech. We're missing two of them, and we have really nothing else to show for it. I think it's probably time to call in that shuttle and reconvene with it. <laughs> we might have a little walking to do. I mean, you could also search for it at uh, the NHP, I mean. Sure, let's take on the NHP with one mech and two guys. <laughs> I mean, I've got a lot yeah. to lose now. I don't really feel like it. I do still have the aerial drone, and we do still have Cobra scanners while we wait. I'm guessing Cobra <laughs> scanners don't necessarily pick up anything in like this dusty desert area that we just reappeared in. Or does he? Uh, your Cobra uh, scanners find, or Cobra finds the, ent the entrance to another old Egregorian hive mound, which is uh, like 50 uh, meters away. So, yeah. So it's more or less in the with the vicinity of the bubble you cross to uh, end out the path. Ah. Well, given the circumstances and the uh, Egregorian's uh, stance on this continent that all humans need to be get on rid of, I don't think going down there is wise. Uh, so yeah, I, I think I'm definitely going to call for the shuttle and rendezvous. Well, uh, uh, old Egregorian, you I didn't say anything about a Gregorian life sickness. 
Oh, okay. Well, so, I guess if that comes back, that like there's nothing actually down there. Uh, maybe we could take a peek. I still got like a flashlight. That's about all the equipment I have left. <laughs> yeah. It's. Uh, I, uh, this hive is actually big enough so you can move through with your last max standings. And you walk down for uh, kilometers more and more to what you think is the uh, old sender. Wait, wait and... to clarify, the ATV is gone? Yes. Huh, why didn't the ATV come with? I'm guessing because the ATV didn't have a soul. So let's keep going. The mech had a soul? You know, we, we don't like to admit it sometimes. But really, don't they all? No, unless they're and Zero's all... just gonna like completely shrug and then keep walking without answering any further questions. Well, I mean, the Horus mechs can have a soul because they're basically, uh... Evangelion mechs, right? Because they're actually those living creatures that are just weird and super enslaved, but I don't imagine the rest of them would. <laughs> yeah. You're at the uh, farther down you go, the more you see the remains of the 500 year old uh, war, remains of dead Egregorians thousands of dead subalterns and finally you see a chamber with a casket in it and with a lot of cabling and stuff collect uh, connecting it to the walls and in this uh, uh, sorry not a uh, uh, casket uh, but a, a pool and you see something emerging from the pool, an arm at first in pale green crystal, and then a whole subaltern body. And you somehow get a feeling you now uh, found okay. And give me a second. Uh, I guess only on Cobra's uh, head-up display a message appears because he is the only one with a head-up display left. I guess I do have an Omni hook. I have data plating, which is basically a heads-up display. <laughs> then you all get a message. Let's let's take a read. Cool, so we don't have to kill them after all. <sighs> Zero's just like going to sigh out loud. And all this trouble for some naughty children. And then his crystalline body begins to shudder and light begins to pulse faster and faster and faster and Finally, he crumples to dust. I like how the closer to the end we get, the less shit just makes sense anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yesterday we was fighting this, like, a couple of guys on the ground with like guns, and now time is bending around us and people are just dissolving into dust, and it's like, huh. Oh well. Oh, you're only now getting this feeling, hero. No, I mean, now I can pay a therapist as the richest man alive. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing after the war. You might as well retire and get married. Don't say that out loud now, though. You'll die. Uh, who knows? Prison sentence? Uh, I, I, I'm feeling lucky. Oh, right, I forgot about those numerous war crimes. <laughs> war crimes? Which war crimes? 
and the complete dereliction joking. and the complete dereliction of duty, as well as disobeying a direct order for your commanding officers in orbit. Not to mention the legal affairs you're gonna have with the uh, the company that hired us after you tried to I don't know smuggle their property off planet. It's okay. I, I don't need to be legal to start a rebellion somewhere else later. It's okay. Yeah, but you'd have to be legal to get off of this planet, though. <laughs> uh, well, at any rate, well, we got a pile of dust, an empty casket, and honestly, a lot of questions. I take it there is not a console left to give us any further information. Nope. Well, mission accomplished. I said we call home and say it's done. Ah, I can put that on your space Instagram. Well, Cobra, go ahead and lead us out. I don't think I, we have I... anything we need to clean up here. It's done it for us. And so I think we have another couple of kilometer climb back up to the surface, probably in completely stunned silence. Yes. Uh, you manage to uh, contact the shuttle and get back to civilization. And yeah, two weeks pass. And in those two weeks, there were uh, quite some happenings. The Saint, you remember Santelos said, yeah, Bam Honor is allowed to retreat. Uh, that was a ruse. Santelos had an all out war with everybody but yeah they Oof. didn't manage that for long it made the and... absolute wrong decision <laughs> <laughs> it lost the war but it still exists uh, your uh, diplomats uh, finally uh, got back and you get some news from the offside world uh, the egregorians are recognized as non-human persons and the rightful owners of this planet uh, 